Still forgets one thing at least every time that don't don't exit. Hello anyone who is watching now later on YouTube, healing here along with Rakir. And hopefully he is a lot more audible this time because I've upped the recording <laughs> I've lessened the dampening on the Discord recording. So yeah. yeah. Oh. Otherwise we go to plan C. And that is I start to scream like a blood berserker of corn. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back everyone to Bloodstained Ritual of the Night for the sixth time. And I have to say, it's feeling a lot... It feels like we're going through this game or through these streams a lot quicker than we've had with uh, some of the previous games. Probably because we had so much fun with it. Yeah, time does fly when you're having fun. And yeah. when you're not, it goes through an absolute crawl. <laughs> yeah, we, we did have fun with the Blood Omen and some part of Blood Omen and the other Legacy of King games, but we did have also a few bombs in a row that really unnerved us and got stuck on puzzles. Here is just being more joy. Yeah. Even the boss that we struggle with has been fun. Yeah, be actually, I was going to bring that up at some point. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, figuring out the boss is discovering patterns and weaknesses. That is something that you can only really f experience uh, through experimentation and through trying it yourself. That discovery, that that is a, a joy all in its own. Oh yeah, but that, that is how I have been lying from being to discover it to being just damn confused when it's too unclear. Uh, yeah, there is. Some games can get obnoxiously done with such, but uh, let's actually get started in the game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, just for security's sake, I've been started. I, I did a, <clears throat> I did a double save. There is a three-minute difference here, but that was mostly <laughs> of last time of us just talking. So it isn't really anything of a difference, except for maybe a. I think I added to it. No, I'm. I thought we had something added in here, but hmm, apparently not. But enough, hmm, enough me. <laughs> there we go. Now that's free. And yeah, in case it does was hard to turn the mic, I just unblocked the ice cream. Uh, of course, because it wouldn't be a stream without your tear eating something. <laughs> I think I was accidentally riding the horse there for a moment. Part of me has his thing. This game has been very good at making us impressed. Uh, impressed. Impressed. I think like I said that wrong. It's sounding right to me. <laughs> Alright. And I'm moving it. Uh, like, I also said, I think I don't remember the thing. It'd be cool if we could see the hats. And so that we could see the damn hats. And so on and forth. And now I. I just feel like. If there is something we suspect that they could have done. They probably have done it. Yeah. So, <laughs> come to, on. so it comes to that horse. I will not be surprised if he can actually that horse special power is you riding that damn horse. Wait, if not, then I then that's be a slight disappointment. Red on bread. <laughs> red on bread. <laughs> what the heck uh, did I get was an ear of pride from that? It's the it's the bloodless uh, umbrella. I mean, I know, I know. I was supposed to be there. Just when I saw the umbrella icon, uh, it just gave me the umbrella corporation vibe for some reason. 
I get the feeling we might actually get a reference to them here or there. And, oh, and if we have a third type of fairy, this one with the stinger. Uh, come on. Yep, and immediately we get... Uh, augment mind. Okay. That's magic defense, I'm pretty sure. And another outsider. Outsider. Wait, so we uh, the hunt list. Hmm? They came with the Yes, they were! I, I remember uh, looking up, uh, looking at your stream and saw that they were on the, one of those hunt quests you have. Uh, what's with the Southern Rock concert? <laughs> Okay, Lance and nothing, go away. Um, I thought we stopped playing Brutal Legends quite a while ago. <laughs> Zamako <Zemaco> death. <laughs> Come on! Me? <laughs> I would not be surprised if that is supposed to be a reference to those that help make the music or something. Or a member of the development. A battle of the band's guitarist who melts faces both literally and figuratively. <laughs> yeah, it's not Black... It, it's not Jack Black this time, but I almost said Black Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm? I have not thought of that before. <laughs> uh, this, this is a, this gun. This this game is just plain fun. Oh yeah. And just short. Can I reach it from here? Yes, I can. Okay. Temporary path. Oh, hello. We yeah, get up. Oh, I already see how... Well, I think I see how... Shirts, healing... Nope. No. That one. Yeah, <laughs> these little passageways aren't a problem anymore. Uh, okay, now I know for certain that this is... Uh, <laughs> this is very... Comes across to me as very much a... Uh, <clears throat> I, I, I'm blanking. I'm blanking on the name for a moment now. Actually, yep. <laughs> the brutal legend. I, I I was blanking on the name for a bit, but yeah, th this is very much giving a, a brutal legend vibe. Oh, you're a separate one. And what is this? This is called face melter. Okay, upbeat heat. <laughs> Send rhythmic blast of fire towards foes. Not too wrong then. You are not so far off there. Behold, my shadow self. I'm, I really <laughs> think that shadow and self name line is a reference uh, to Persona. Because. Well, what other series talks about shadows as much as Persona? Uh, I want to play one of the games and I gave up on it. And I think it was the yeah, it was the new Persona game. I played a bit. I oh. enjoyed it, but the time constraint really made me dress up, so I gave up on it. Uh, it's it's not a, really a series you can go through in one go. Uh, I do I have Persona 5 Royal, so the enhanced edition. But I'm not actually sure if that would be a good game for me to stream because, well, it is a, it is a the best way I can think I can describe describe it is a a long term trial and error game. Yeah, but also, here's the thing, uh, when I first about to come out, 
people were only allowed to see a few episodes, they were not allowed by the uh, developers anymore. Yes, the developers of the Sona went uh, Nintendo on them. Okay. Not as strict, but we were like, you allow me to do this many episodes to this part, then no more. Otherwise, we heard our say is coming. So I don't think that there's only the oldest Persona games you are apparently allowed to stream or watch on YouTube. Drink Drink no one is interested. No one is interested in my now. We may be demo streaming it now, but yeah, that was uh, at least when it was new, and I don't now realize. You were jumping on a dragon. Yeah. Uh, okay, I hadn't actually heard of that. But e even... Okay, that was a rather easy dragon. Um, even if I would want to stream Persona 5 Royal, there's the fact that I'd need to get uh, my hands on a good capture card as well. Yeah. Let's see here. Okay, look, inspect the dragon. It was just a dragon, I was supposed to something else. Uh, I, I wasn't looking for any names to pop up. And so over here. No, no. Titania! Actually, that's the name of the. Uh, the British Iris. The British Isles' uh, fairy queen, I think, in mythology. Yep, or at least in a book. I know Berana is then at her husband. Let's see, where is that dragon? Not on there, so it must be somewhere up here. No. Uh, uh, yeah, this one, <laughs> I had no idea that was a mimic. I, ac I <laughs> attacked it on accident. This was okay. a lucky accident. Yeah, let's see. Where is this thing? There, <laughs> plain yeah. dragon. Monster known for its extraordinary battle prowess. Oh, it's weak to petrification, or uh, oh no no no, a blue is resistant. It's it's vulnerable to spear attacks. Ah. Also in that chest there, we found uh, recipes for drinks. I and oh. We were supposed to bring that thing all the way over here. Bookcase. That... That would be a tricky one. Hmm. At least it's fire can't reach up here, I'm thinking slash hoping. Let's give this a shot. Uh, once that... No, that's just... Yeah, it'll just drop down like that. Okay, that hurts a lot. Uh, we should go looking for a healing station. A uh, safe point. Hmm. Yeah, but that is getting concerning. Let's give this one last try. Like, yep. Yeah. Oh, that was the last try. <laughs> uh, wait for that to back up. Get up here and. Let's hope that there's a safe station over here, or nearby at least. Uh, actually, I've... Uh, this one it was, yes, Bloodsteel. Let's try start trying that... Nope, nope. Uh, that's not actually... Uh, it, it, it is animated armor, so it wouldn't have blood to steal. Um, yeah. Okay, let's just be careful then. And so use as much of the... Hmm? I have a flaw in there. If you can't need blood for a go uh, suit of armor or uh, gold as such, that's attached to the details. Yeah. Because the one thing that annoyed me uh, in Warcraft was yes, when I was playing Warcraft was the early Burning Crusade. You could not bleed skeletons, you could not bleed golems and all that. 
Det känns som det känns där. Du kunde säga att jag kunde springa och springa och jobba med att jag kunde göra det för så många gånger. Du kunde ta en tack och ta allting. Okej, chase och arrow. <laughs> this is just such a combination of silly and cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Even though they're stationary, they are very dangerous. And actually, um, yeah, we're quite a way away from the next, from the last save station or warp room. So let's that. I'm not risking whatever's down there. So, is there a door? Okay, let's. Is this a safe station? Nope. Hmm. Let's take a quick look down there. There's a <coughs> What's that solved? Now there was the the floor grinders that we've seen before. Okay, I'm staying out of this thing's range. Uh, yeah, just waystone out. We'll have to backtrack quite a bit now, but it's better than have losing all of that. Me? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Help Matthews, the glass blower, rest in peace. Kill those murderers dead. Got any targets for? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Help Saleu the Sexton rest in peace. Kill those murderers dead. What? I I know of a Sextant, which is a uh, Got any targets? Here's which is I've a tool in monsters. naval navigation, but I don't know a Sexton. Call the Cooper. I think. I think that Cooper is a. Uh, Help call the Cooper, rest in peace. I know yes. what a Cooper is. Want me to explain? Yeah. Cooper is those that make barrels. Okay. Gun barrels, beer barrels, any barrels. How can they tell what the sexton is? For I have bloody no idea. It's good to see you. So. What will it be? Okay, anything new that we can craft? Poison. Uh, I think we've seen this, this one before. And I presume, of course, that we can apply to our weapon, not to ourselves. Hopefully. Steam boots. Steel boots fitted with a steam engine. <laughs> okay. Oh. And they're, Dama they're made with Damascus steel. Dama Damascus stuff was... Well, we started finding Damascus recipes and material last time. But basically... Th Damascus steel was basically THE steel of its time and... Uh, how to make it has been lost to time. Yeah, they, they have made um, some replicas that imitates it, but it's not true Damascus steel. Yeah. They made it, they made it able to they make it so it sort of look like it, but it's not as strong as it. Yeah, I, I personally have the idea that it might have been done by, with a form of electroly, you know, don't know, with acids at the very least. And I was thinking electrolyzation or something, but they'd have to find a lot of <laughs> thunderstorms to uh, work that many. Uh, weapons that they, I think they're were supposed to have had back then. Could be wrong there. Yeah, oh, reminds me, Mr. Uh, you remember we watched the uh, Dog Tales yesterday? Yeah. When uh, 
Drophead said no one has ever died from a thunderstorm. <laughs> Plenty of people have. Yeah, and here's the thing. If I remember right, someone in the UK died yesterday from a lightning strike. A kid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, man, I heard him say that kind of like. I'll go with this. Yeah. Not the best uh, yeah. dumb joke well to bring up. Yeah. Let's see. Nothing better here. Now that I think about it, no, that I don't see how I don't see how smithing would have could have been able to in, involve uh, a thunderstorm, some because that would <laughs> that would most likely end in the death of the smith. Mm. Yeah, unless they know, know how to do it safely, like you put it in the field and don't stand near it. Yeah, but the, pro the problem is. Would it really be beneficial for a sword, for example, to be struck by lightning? No, it would depend. It would it would heat the sword to points that I think forges of the time would be unable to do. But I, th it, it as far as I know, it's believed that Damascus steel was in part made with specific uh, materials and also specific processes that haven't been figured out and personally from what I've seen of Damascus steel or or Damascus steel weapons to me it looks like some sort of at least a, sp a specific sort of chemical process was done with it like with by working it with an acid or something yeah I think they all use an acid to make a, it look like that for the fake Damascus steel nowadays Okay. But yeah, they're still trying to figure it out. Also, we'll have a new hat to watch in a minute to see in a minute. Uh -oh. and let's see okay, let's yeah. let's make this one for the lock. It's it is a con there. constitution All gets done. lowered with that, but in you know, overall, I'd say we get a bit of a buff with that, and nothing that we can make. Can we enhance monster blood? Okay, I have no idea where we got that from. But let's upgrade this a few times. Since we do have a lot of oak. I'll go with this. Oh, now it also... Okay, so it's... Once you start upgrading it to a certain point, it'll ask for more ingredients. Well, that don't be useful. Yeah. Make it overpowered quickly. I'll go with this. Yeah. Otherwise, people could just grind and, yeah, m max out something to do. <laughs> it's mm, just because I'll you've been this. useful. I'll go with and this. well, we don't really need as much silver anymore. Ooh, I like it. Because we now have access to the Damascus um, recipes. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, and we, he been, he's been needing the upgrades. I'll go with this. Wait. Oh. Oh, invincibility at moment of second jump. Okay, for a moment I was like, I was thinking, <laughs> we're getting. If we upgrade this, do we get extra jumps? But no. Just checking what else we would... Pork cutlets for the pig. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay. Promise you'll stop Jeebel no matter what. Bovine plum. Okay, I think I know where we get bovine plum from. Mm, that would be... The winged bulls. Yeah, yeah, it would make sense. Here's your okay, thank you. Plant. Uh, let's plant some more potatoes. Can you plant this? <laughs> okay, that, that hat just looks absolutely silly. Uh, that, was that the... 
have to defeat the hat. No, this is the uh, cute animal hat. Uh, cute beast, uh, beret. <laughs> oh, it pixelated pick, for me at the moment, but I remember it from memory from last time. Oh, wait, yeah, when you stand still, it gets cleaned up. Okay, now I can see it. Now we got to clean it up. Oh, God, it's too cute. It looked like one of those corgi plushes that I keep getting advertisements for. No, no not advert. I, I keep seeing people spon uh, be sponsored by uh, corgi plushes or something. Now, let's see. I wonder if there is think Corgi Plushies is from a YouTuber not watching a while called Atmau. But uh, that's because she is a very much a nerd for Corgis. Yeah, personally I'm not much of a dog person. Uh, never really grew up with them. Well, there are people who have dogs in the family. Uh, among them my grandmother, who had one, but she also had cats. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just prefer cats, and well, dogs don't prefer me anyway, so hello. I don't hate dogs, but I'm not a dog person. I, really? You want to tell me, tell me to pick between a wolf and a dog? I pick the wolf in every day. It's something about dogs I'm not sure they're cute, but it's something... I don't know. Not really... Okay, let's not mess with that room yet, but yeah, it's not like I've had serious uh, bad experiences with dogs. Just yeah, not my thing. And well, or maybe I'm just too plain lazy <laughs> for dogs because well. Cats can take care of themselves quite well. Yeah, for me, it's more like the thing of the dog. We can be very clean. Yeah. Sure, it's cute for a time, but after a while, it can get very annoying. My little bird has a dog, and I'm the only one. Sure, I've shown her some attention, but I've never been spoiling her as the others have. And. My mother was a bit annoyed and questioning about why I wasn't spawning her more, and I told her, because you all are spawning her too much. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Some of those family members uh, of mine who do have dogs, they, uh, yep. they do spoil their dogs quite a bit, to the point that it's uh, not healthy for them either, right? Like, um, yeah, basically they're trying to replace something they've lost with the dog. Nope. Yeah. We have not reached that point, not yet enough. We haven't put up too much. So, my little dog, they, they have put a little bit, bit much, but not to that extreme level, luckily enough. And they have been able to discipline her off. The dog, I mean. So it's not... They, they took action early on. Okay. Garlic and mistral. Also, I've been forgetting to mark these again. Golem. Why did that give me a very interesting idea? What? Uh, <clears throat> what then? Uh, trying to uh, poison a sword with garlic? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, uh, you just rub garlic over a mithril blade. That should probably keep vampires away. And why am I doing a fucking motion in there? As I said that. Uh, because you get too into things. Yeah, and if I probably mean like dagger frosting people, just to head off your cover. Okay, let's see. Yeah. A key of a key of Celeste is required. Okay, are we going to find a fight a moon beast at some point then? Moon, star, something. Okay, 1767, another year since the last one, I think. 
At last I have solved it. My first homunculus subject was a child and recently deceased. The younger the subject and the sooner after death I act, the more quickly the crystal spreads through the body. So far I have worked only with cadavers, but with a, uh, a living child, yes, my position in the guild is secure now. The guild has supplied the children I need. I care not how and bade me transplant uh, the and bade me transplant uh, the crystal of supplied. Okay, I'm guessing bade is an old timey word for uh, ordered or so, or asked. My old friend vehemently opposed the move on moral grounds, but I wish only to complete this experiment, replenish the guild's coffers, and continue my historic work. Now let the experiment begin. Okay. So, I'm guessing these are Alfred's uh, texts, though I think... Didn't Johannes say that he had a, he played a part with the Shardbinders either? Though, that is going off my bad memory. So I'm guessing, wait, wait. by the looks of it, by the looks of this, this sounds more like Alfred than Johannes. But, and remember, Johannes was against the experiment on the children. Uh, he was against the experiment with the the soul the shard binders. Um, However, but, yeah, I I am assuming that these texts are Alfred's. So far, uh, Johannes hasn't really done anything to hint that he had he was evil or is evil or such. Uh, yeah, I think I just my guess is just regret he didn't couldn't do more to prevent it. Yeah. He's probably feel like, yeah, since he is a part of the same order, or he probably feels a bit bad. Yeah, partially responsible. Them. Yeah, even if he's not responsible, he's responsible. Yeah. Guilt by association. Yeah, something like that. It goes many ways. Uh, Okay, another boss fight. Oh, getting right into it. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's a dragon. <laughs> Not like that puny green one. Uh, yep. A oh, black <laughs> abyssal guardian. Oh, it's a dragon who knows magic to make things even worse. Okay, that attack just getting close and give it a freaking manicure. That's just attack I recognize directly. That was a reference to Team Godzilla. Uh, tail, tail is jump. This one we just have to jump over. Oh, new. Okay, basically a stomp. Yep, wrong way. Yep. Expect that this dragon is a mini boss. Uh, if it's a mini boss, it's uh, kicking our eyes in a not so mini way. <laughs> yep. Ah, gotcha this time, bitch. Okay, roar, yep. then throw. You can just swallow your hole if you want to. It, it roars and throws the fireball. Oh, ah, was a bit too slow to react there. Okay. What sort of dragon are you that you prefer to throw fire than breathe it? Though I, <laughs> that probably wouldn't be real fire, more like abyssal fire. Oh. Okay, um, if that is, if this is a mini boss, then that will probably be all of its attacks, which we now have, well, we now know. Um, yeah, and as, as, as a thing about your question about why it doesn't breathe fire, it, it has brought, it has done some breath attacks. Yeah, I did that. one. Yep, so I imagine it just try to conserve the breath attack. 
could be. It could also be that it only uses that when I'm at distance. Let's see. Yeah. That healing reflector ray will be useless in this. I, d I doubt that fire will help in this case. Um, the other dragon was vulnerable to piercing. Um. Would make sense. Maybe water. Or ice. Ice was used for the last time we fought something with fire breath. Oh, okay, that was... Okay, that's that hurts quite... Oh, wasn't that... Okay, upgrading that adds more shards. Yeah, I used to really be for the, like, crack and bone, but now we... Gotcha. Or act more like you didn't got me. Okay, the night protect. Yeah, mini boss. <laughs> okay, st still a very cool one. Yeah, wait, this blood on the floor. Too late now. Maybe that's what you're supposed to steal. Could be, yeah. Uh, that, that is what the bloodless. Well. Stove was drinking during her boss fights. Hall of Termination. Okay. Quite the name. So let's send this outsider to the actual outside. You see Hall of Termination? Yeah, Hall of Termination it was called. On the third reference. No idea. Ribbon and fairy dust. Okay, what's down here? We still need to find a warp room in this area. Or actually, in the last two areas. Might be one in this room, but there's a room, it's a room in here, so yeah. Yeah, that's that's why I went back. Stop dodging, little brats. Out of reach. <laughs> this is. Uh, Oh, this is a lock. <laughs> That's a locked door. Yeah, this place is uh, quite extravagant. Wait, do we actually have reflections in those mirrors? Well, Mir Miriam doesn't seem to have a reflection, but <laughs> the, the knight seems to do. Hmm. It's more like a shadow than a reflection. Okay. Uh, it was... well, I don't remember shadows being blue. Here, another ribbon. Um, oh, <laughs> it's those guys again. Oh, hello, Blood Drinker. Blood Bringer! Ultimate healing item recipe. Uh, actually, can we can we stand on top of you? Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what were they guarding? A sponge cake and myth mithril and wool. Uh, 
mark. It's what is this? Continuing on even further, my theory my theories were correct, the crystal is spreading through the child's bodies even faster than I expected. However, my superiors have delivered the grave news that no more children will can be provided. This is a setback. With my current materials, it could take more than ten years to amass the crystal we require. My old friend has taken to spending time with the children. I cannot fathom why. He knows the future that awaits them once they've grown enough crystal. But it is his heart to break. He mentioned a new line of study, the manipulation of kinetic energy, to try and slow the crystal's progress. He cannot be foolish. so foolish. That is Johannes. The writer of this is Alfred. I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, but Johannes did say that he was working on a way to slow the crystal. So yeah, it, that sounds like Johannes in there. Okay, just throw that again, leave yourself completely wide open. More sponge cake and wool. Uh, have we actually eaten that yet? No, we haven't. Only one luck. And still, any little bit is useful. Also, since we're out of combat now, let's go back to the fairy so she can sniff out hidden areas. Does that make her a blood fairy? Oh, I did not see you there. Go. Uh, let's. <laughs> it almost feels mean to kill these things, but they probably yeah, they, they have a shard that I just want to know what the hell that does. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I feel like when this game is so much more human in a blue book, but they could be a fun enemy in the form of this game. And then uh, young young player, though, they came up with that. Okay, Archdemon. Uh, like, it got pulled from a yoke. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if some of these enemies were put in by backers. Like, uh, su support us for uh, X amount of money, and we'll let you can make an enemy for the game. See, bullet capacity. And uh, bullet explain in uh, the account of death. And the cat and dog. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there actually isn't a real reason to kill these things. Other than getting them out of our way. A Vespine wing. <laughs> they just sound silly as well. Yeah. <laughs> It's like it sounds like a caterpillar that's uh, <laughs> high on caffeine. Hmm. Okay, what's up here? <laughs> More caffeine caterpillars. Caterpillars. Hello. Goodbye. Fine equipment recipe. Uh, wait, we already got. Wait, this is the other side. Okay, open that up. And shortcut open. And another. Another boss door. So we're staying room over there, perhaps? Nope. Let's see. 1766. Okay, these are bigger jumps in time now. Uh, a terrible thing has happened. One of the children got a hold of the red shard, bringing the demon and summoned all those years back into our world. We somehow cut the shard loose from the boy and averted chaos. But this proves I was right. This crystal binds with the shard's power. 
I shall call the children shard binders. And then three years later, the shard binding incident made apparent our need to teach the children self-discipline. The guild had introduced just such a regimen to verse them in combat by pinning them against the demons we summon. One boy, Gibel, has shown tremendous ability, but his crystal growth lags behind the others. Why? Hmm. Yep. Hello. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay, let's explore a bit further, and then we'll go to that boss room. Oh, okay, that we really need it. Because we've been missing a warp room for some time. Wait, 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 wait. Let's take a look here. Warp room, right on top of the save room. Yeah. That's golden. Yep. And where is... Oh. Now have wait. we found something? Wait. Oh, hello! Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Nice! And two bookcases. Parry with the blood gun. Okay. Blood gun? That's a sword, I think. Yeah, it sounds like a web sword move. Parrying. Sickle moon with the gram, the shadow, or the durandal. Close the distance and slash upwards. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we've only had one weapon that we can actually pull off uh, one of those special moves with. <laughs> Even then, I could just not figure out how to keep her doing it reliably. Another boss room. Okay. Yeah, I was just saying now before you. Discover. What if the your foot all over the same room is a warning sign? Yeah, that, that is typically a, da a gaming uh, sign of uh, things are about to get... If, if a game throws a lot of healing and um, ammunition at you, there's a boss coming. Yeah, but this is not just that any boss possibly. This could be... Very tough one, and oh, new hair around. Yeah, and a new big ass seat. <laughs> I've expected it to be a mimic. Well, they did. They did lure, try to lure us into a. Nope. Okay, that was completely by accident. They did try to lure us into a sense of nope, uh, safety with all of the other chairs. Like, Gram, we could make that, but we don't have to now. If <laughs> like, okay, th this was just playing a really good find. Oh. And wait. Ah, uh, yeah, we we got in this one like two or s three streams ago, but we lost it because we well because I died. This is a different and one. Oh, hello, Celeste's key. Okay, so we finally found one of those keys. I can see this, Helium. That sword is a different sword. Uh, we'll have to check in a moment for now, though. Okay, yeah, that is... Let's try and use this a bit, because it is the strongest thing we have right now. And just to make sure, let's see... Rosie, Claire Barber. Mm. Bloodbringer. And it Yeah, it does look it does look to be a different color, yeah. Let Is there another one up here somewhere that I overlooked just now? Rats, bats, knights, weeds. Parmer, Kabose, Zagon, Ordog, Elo. <laughs> Demon, Dullahan, Carrie, Shovel, Puppy, Assassin, Dragon, Lee, Shield, Malediction. 
I'm not seeing any other than that. Maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe they, maybe they brought those uh, units over here again. Yeah, it w we didn't find m many or any others of the swords back in the cathedral. Um, let's see how it does. And it does look exactly the same now. And I'll have to keep a note that somewhere in here there is still a bookcase that we haven't read yet. I think it was here. I should have made a note of that earlier. For n now though, let's... Let's head for the other boss door. Even more ribbons, probably used to upgrade their uh, shards. Mm. Uh, let's have a little check here. Not really sure where I'm looking for. Pass, <laughs> pass plate, come on. I think it's a pass, pass plate. Yeah, probably their word for a passport. <laughs> oh, what was I thinking of? Oh, yeah. Archives. Techniques. Wait, again? It only shows these three? Like, we, we have seen multiple of those other... <clears throat> We've seen multiple of those other techniques now. Not that we've had weapons to use them, but I'm pretty sure that we saw one earlier that used the gram. So why aren't they showing up? Or... Wait, what? What hit us there? Did this... Did we get hit by our own familiar? Is it this one? No, this was this was lore. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to look into that. Why that might might be. Yeah, no, you found Perry. Wait, what's Perry in the list? No, we found Perry. What is Perry in the list? Okay, or are are these weapons? Does it not show weapon specific ones or something? Does it does it want you to write those thing those ones down or something? On that they only show weapons when they have used in the past? Oh. A millionaire's key is required. Okay. And then we'll mark this here to note that we need a key still and um, and that does leave us open to go look for the place where we needed the celeste key hmm, now where was that where is there an maybe there and then we'll have to go back here for the shortest route the team unlocked Demon Hunter. Probably be <laughs> for killing like a thousand demons or so. Like, that thing just. I cannot take that thing seriously with the pitter patter. <laughs> Wool and platinum. Come on, let me go. Okay. It, it could be because it's still... 
uh, low level, but the sword isn't really proving to be too useful for combat. And yeah, it it tends to miss its attacks a lot of the time. Yeah, but again, that, that, that might be because it's unupgraded. Yeah, but when it does it, it's still even with damage. I think they like the fairy and the zero knife yeah, but the fairies still did uh, low damage even when they would hit. Demon yeah. tail. More oh, mid from the wall. Gonna, the fairies is gonna give you a kind of pressure in a room with MVP. Yeah, so let's just switch to her. Let her scan the room here. Nothing. Nothing. There is more up there, but we can't, yeah, we need something more to reach that, unless, let's see, where is it, in there, I, no, we just can't reach with that, does this, okay, rank increased range, we'll, we'll want to upgrade that definitely then. For now, though, <laughs> don't let's. <laughs> There's just no way to take that thing seriously. Are you taking full tears when he screams like that? You said. Can you take a sword seriously when it screams like that? Uh, sort of. But the <laughs> caterpillar thing just plain no. <laughs> it sounds so pretty how many they are and they're all out of boots. Nope. <laughs> right in between. Now get over here. And we're still blocked this way. Uh, can I trick this somewhat? Nope. Okay, so we have a shortcut from the cathedral to uh, the other place here. The, the Hall of Termination, I think. Yeah, the Hall of Termination. Termination? Oh, yeah, but not the Termination then. Yeah, termination. It's not a. <laughs> it's not an Undertale reference. Now, where was that door then? Yeah, considering how the room looks, the name does not make sense. Let's see. Somewhere with a door over here, maybe? There seems to be a lot of things being missed here. Okay, let's head back to the warp room. Then we go take a look over there. If it's not where we need to use the... If it's not where we need to use that key, then we go fight the boss. Save to restore. Um, also, now we have a bit of a window to talk. Uh, I was alerted to something and I checked it. And I, I mentioned this to you already before the stream. But yeah, I, I thought Twitch would allow for uh, lower to be for streams to be watched at a lower quality. Uh, but apparently not. So. Yeah, these vi these streams have been going out at 1080 uh, resolution, which some computers cannot handle too well for streams. So, 
Yeah, once we're done with this game, I'm thinking about switching over to 720p. So it'll be yeah, so more people can watch if need if they want to. Yeah, that's or, a good idea. Or, well, more people can watch with without the <laughs> the stream buffering for like five minutes before it shows anything. Actually, early on, press it fire and you see it on an option option for that. Well, this could have no option for that whatsoever. But that's the priority. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, no, no, come on. You have Wait. Oh, uh, let's. It only shows re it only shows techniques that you've tried or meant to pull off. You got <laughs> I accidentally pulled it off there. Oh. Uh, and again, I just cannot pull, re pull it off again for the life of me. I like how it feels like that. Well, yeah, you see the problem, and and um, I realize that maybe that okay, maybe if you you are unable to do it, but it's gonna be difficult, easier to pull off. Now, I'm actively trying right now, but no. A controller or keyboard? It's still using the controller. Yep. Right. And it those those sorts of things should be easier on controller. Yeah. It, it Movement is movement the easier to do with the those are more like a by D they made one arrow movement, but these ones are like a lot of arrows then a few buttons. Yep, wrong aim angle there, come on, get it. Get in there. <sighs> okay. Uh the Makato Death also dropped something called Queen's Tears there. <sighs> Which I'm, let's have a quick look at that. What is that? It's not a healing item. So... Is it an ingredient? Not for food. Master with Queen's Tears. A liquid imbued with powerful sorcery. Okay, so that, that'll probably be for upgrading its shards. Uh, that seems to be the what's happening most of the time with these up, with master drops. Um, like, most of the time they drop stuff for the upgrading their own thing. Yeah. actually haven't been this way. So I don't think there will be... Oh. That is... Wait, wait, another dragon. And this is so going to be another mimic, but let's just see what happens. Yep. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> the motherfucker... <laughs> just... <laughs> he just playing crabs as it jumps into the nearest pit. Okay. Oh, what is this going to be? Flame breath, probably? Draconic Rage, rend enemies with the dragon's claws. Okay, we, we sort of already have a, a flamethrower <laughs> spell. Gold equipment recipe. 
Ok. Oh. Um, yeah, I heard her speak up. And it's just... Wait. There we go. Traverser's Ring. Okay, I think we've seen that one before. Uh, in the shop. Basically, the more we've completed the map, or the more we've explored, the better effect it has. Let's see. Increases attack power in proportion to how much of the map you've com completed. Which would give us a sec... Okay, six extra damage. Or six extra attack. Though... Yeah, I'd say that... I think... I'd say the dodging from the moon belt and the... Well, maybe the critical effect isn't as useful in comparison. So let's switch those out for now. Okay, <laughs> all it was... It only took one hit. Garlic and Damascus again. Don't put any fungus in that combo. Or it's trying to tell us that vampires are not like Mithril and Gobic combined. Okay. Partisan, which is a spear we've already had. Jinrai. Draw your blade and strike enemies down in one fierce motion. So basically the quick draw technique, I think. Possibly. And wait, it uses MP. Yeah. And that was the bookcase that we skipped over because we were low on health. Okay. That must mean that the um, combat moves are very powerful if they cost MP. Huh. It, maybe yeah. that's also been a point in why I haven't been able to pull them off. Yeah. You, you don't use your magic too much against the mobs. Yeah. So... Yes, thank you for the ride. Oh, come on. Was that not an achievement? Yeah, that probably is an achievement to, ri to ride around those things for a certain amount of time. <laughs> What, do, what are you going to do when there's nothing for you to jump into? Yep. Yep. I can't actually get off this thing. <laughs> nothing it... Okay, it's, it's, it just keeps hold of you for a time. Okay. So they're not actually that dangerous unless the environment's dangerous. Yeah, however, what's called share mimic, so uh, yeah. maybe there are other type of mimics that are more dangerous. Oh, uh, hello again, you. And, uh, let's just keep your distance because you are going to breathe fire. Right, thank you. Okay, dragon slain. One. Wait, 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 wait! You go down, go down. Mm. Not proven. Uh, yeah. Let's see if that's actually how it. Not that button. Shards. And. Let's see. Where blood, steel. blood steel. Okay. Blood steel. Oh, yeah. That is how that works. <laughs> okay. What will you do without me? Uh, not too much, probably. Oh. Okay. Or you can fake me with a bowl of candy. Oh, wait, I'm seeing a bit of a... I'm seeing a bit of a hurdling bringing this thing across. Because once... Yeah, there, there is no way to really get it from... From this blue... One or hmm, 
Unless it's going to be very generous with the amount of time that the bookcase stays in the air with that. I don't actually see how we're supposed to be able to move it along with these here. Hmm. Something Hold on a second. Oh, there we go. I was just thinking about that. And hidden area open. So it was easier than expected. Nope. Okay, you are not shortcuts. Familiar Silver Knight. Okay. Wait. What the hell you got your Silver Knight for the first time? Where did it is? You Actually. Before. Yeah, there, I don't remember a Silver Knight enemy. So, yeah, but yeah. That must have, we must have gotten that from a, def, from a different hidden area. Yeah. They said that they were crystal to admit to someone angel. But they morph them to some demons. What if Silver Knight is not a demon? Yeah. Mm. Take this. Yeah, well, it's definitely been proven to be useful in combat. Is this over here where that, stu where that dumb door is? Oh! Okay, I was Wait. more expecting that uh, we'd walk up to the door and then unlock it, but yeah, the door is just plain gone. Is that indeed? <laughs> no. Oh, um. I think I'm accidentally activating those by just ac pressing up on my. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> Accidentally activating those by pressing uh, up when I'm moving along. Oh. Do you screenshot that? Yeah. And what's in the egg? Uh, This is some sort of puzzle, or maybe just an Easter egg. Let's just get out there before our ears start to bleed. <laughs> hmm. Yep. Are are they activating just by me standing near them or something? Yeah, see the option to that you suppose Yeah, you I you can activate them yourself. Stupid Thunder Elemental. Lore. Hmm. Maybe one of the backers had that added in or something? It smells like either red herring or fossil. Uh, maybe a sort of a memorial for someone's cat as well. Yeah, but yeah, probably rolling one could be. Hmm. I'll just not blood steal it. I'll just mark it as well. Actually, I'll double mark it just to note that there is something here. Hmm. But for now. Yeah, let's just continue on to that next boss. We are at an hour and 15 minutes already. Or no, minus the timer, mi minus the intro, 1 minute 13. <laughs> Damascus. Uh, that one passes along up top. Uh, 
Uh, maybe you're supposed to have those music boxes play in a specific order. One after another, probably. Yeah, we make fun. But with five music boxes, there are well, a lot of uh, possibilities with how many combinations there could be there. Growing access? Hmm. You learn to throw access from a crystal? <sighs> It'll probably be a bit more than that. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> boomerang axe. <laughs> that could be useful, depending on the mob and what, of course. Take this. Yeah, probably more for you know, hitting more enemies in a line. Then, uh, well, we'll have to see if it deals a lot of damage or not. For now, though, we have another boss to fight. And this one has... I actually haven't been using it that much, but... It... What took you so long? Well, now that you've tasted the power of so many shards, I presume you're ready to join me. You presume wrongly. I'm here to keep my promise to you, and nothing else. What promise? You really have forgotten then. I swore to you that I would stop you if your Shardbinder power ever manifested itself against your will. You made the same oath to me. Please! You think I wield this power unwillingly? I do. I've known it since our meeting on the Galleon. There was a moment when I saw a flicker of the real Jeebel beneath all that hate. Fool! I've had enough! If you want to stop me, you'll have to do it by force. Next time, obey. Okay, I was not expecting we'd run into him here. Day forward ice, downward fire, and okay, near oh, nearby lightning, a grab jump. And that was a bit pathetic. <laughs> Yeah, he's using variants of spells that we've been able to find so far. And this fight is going suspiciously easy. Uh, what was expecting uh, the way he's supposed to put things around that you were supposed to lose? But now I'm not too sure. Nope. Oh, oh uh, that that's a bit more like it. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, I was expecting the same attack there, but that was a different one. That was that was far too easy. This is not it. Forgive me, Jeebo. You, you, you did the right thing, Miriam. Thank you. Well, you are a copy, right? aren't you? Is it over? This is a fake ending or a bad ending, I'm guessing. We did what we came here to do. We stopped Jeebel. But the castle is still there. The demons. Yes, but Dominique and the church can take it from here. You think so? 
I have a bad feeling about all of this. What would you have us do? It's out of our hands now. Perhaps. Yeah, I, I was honestly expecting a bit more up there, but, hmm, yeah, okay, throwing us straight to the main menu, yeah, that, that was a bad end, so now we know, explore more, hmm, yeah, that Is there anything else over here? There's... Hmm. Yeah, because uh, unless yes. the origin is supposed to discover the other half of the map, that um, Yeah, there's still 48% of the map to go. Hmm. All right, then. And there are... There are still a lot of places we simply can't visit yet, because we need some sort of flights or wall crawling to get there. Actually, hmm. have we spoken much to the others in the other base? Uh, no, and um, we're still missing something over here. Or, or are those respawn chests? No, those. I think these two chambers are still unexplored. It's a bit hard to see how dark the, the the rest of the area is. Yeah, but the the light blue is is for the hall termination. So the other dark blue area is another zone entirely. And yeah, and we have this over here. A lot of the water that we can't explore yet. So there. Yeah, we're we're going to have to start exploring more. All right then. Yeah, Navi is going to stay with us for the rest of this entirety. Because yeah, killing Jibo does not it finishes what we said we do, but it still leaves that that other demon and well the book, the. The de demon summoning book is still um, not found as well. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that ending was just so fishy. Oh. Um, yeah, it's just so awful. You have to put so much thought into the game. So that ending was. Yes. Yeah, it, it will not make sense. Yeah, the first place we can look is over here. With uh, this one, we might be able to reach. Uh, out. We, we might be able to reach up high enough to get out of the water over there. Yeah, and yeah, that's the thing too. We not. We haven't learned to swim yet. Yeah. If we can learn to swim, that is. Yeah, uh, with how much water there is in that area, I presume that it will be. Or maybe. Um, Maybe we'll start draining the area, like a giant water temple. That to the possible, or it's meant for the other character, but I don't know. And we'll have to, well, go and see ourselves. Yeah. But even if we've ran the. Even if we've reached the quote-unquote end boss, we have not, we have far from reached the ending of this game. And, okay, we... Yeah. Okay, nice little thing that they do not let us use this in the water. But that does mean that this is another dead end for now. Yeah. And yeah, don't force on explore and all that. It, yeah, it, it would just feel me, give me a bad haze in my mouth if that was it. Or, let's face it, it was way too easy. Yeah, but I must also say that the 
the ending cut itself off a bit quick there. Yep. Like maybe it's, it could have shown that. Hmm. Well, that also adds to making it feel like a bad ending, like it it just ending like that. Yeah, but it means that something didn't feel right. It was good. Yeah, and and maybe adding in um, a sort of epilogue screen or so there could spoil things for the actual true endings. Like, um, yeah, if it's a uh, one week later, the Earth was overrun by an even greater flow of demons or something. Yeah, they always had to tell us that Kosa was still there. Yeah. Yeah, so far, what I've been hinting at, there probably seems to be more a uh, puppet or something else. And he Great. didn't have a book, as you said. Even the other book, the other book, the book, Yeah, that looks to be the case. That it's just short on that. Okay, are we... Hmm. We can't reach it like this. Or, no, even when I button mash that. Hmm. Yeah, that, that is just out of our reach. From the looks of it. We're not being it up there, then being it all over to the other side. There we go. Yeah, we don't... We Oh, hello. We don't get our first jump when we do that. And this the double jump even only gives a very little reach with that. Ah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It did have a few feelings like I've been very helpful in it. Death Cry. Regale your surroundings with a chilling and damaging cry. That is so going and a sinister rag. Yeah, that attack is so going to be dark power or dark damage. Yeah, and hopefully not breaking my ears. Oh, hello! I almost miss you, <laughs> and you still hit me anyways. Steel bless breastplate and sinister skull. Emerald and ruby. Ammo. Meet this recipe. Okay, so this wasn't really. This was just an extras room. Actually, we have no need to fight you. Alright, where's the next area then? They're still down here, but I I get the feeling that's going to be opened up from underneath. Hmm. It is over here, but that requires the horseman's key, I think. Hmm. This is all in the water area. I th Why is this blocked? Or not uh, explored? Yeah, with, with basically every Castlevania game, even after you've beaten the boss, quote unquote, you still haven't beaten the game. Gale Crawler creates a shock shockwave that travels across the ground and rips enemies apart. And some lemons. So I'm guessing that thing was pretty sour about us killing it. Burn someone ha burn someone's house down with them. Wait. What? 
Uh, you haven't played Portal 2, then I'm guessing. No, no, please. I see some playthrough, but what? Uh, yeah, that, that's one of the things that's been memed to hell, and I thought I turned off those alarms, so I'll just have to check that again. Yeah, the only uh, powerful meme I know of is the cake is alive. That's the only meme I know from it. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name, but I, I'm i pretty sure that the character's name, your know, last name is Johnson, but... Yeah, in, in Portal 2, at one point, he starts getting really pissed about the saying, uh, if you, if life hands you lemonade, uh, lemons, make lemonade. Instead, he says that he is going to burn someone's house down with lemons instead. Um, is that even possible? Uh, probably not. But then again, so are... <laughs> so should warp holes be like in that game. Wormholes more than. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Do you say when last you see a lemon, you make lemonade? Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no. Now you all got to get in, in more wrong. When last you see a lemon, you squeeze the juice into your enemy's eyes. And yes, I got it somewhere, but I don't know where I heard that from. Yeah, that's certainly a new there. version I, <laughs> for me. Yeah, I, I heard it once, and I think I butchered something like that, but you get the gist of it. Yeah. I don't know if it was a game character or a YouTuber. <laughs> no visitors. Um... You all were you or the visitor? Yeah, I, I, I was going for the word hitch, uh, hiker, but yeah. <laughs> Wait, okay, we. Uh, I summon shovel armor. <laughs> okay, at one point we're just going to. Actually, we might as well start now since we're exploring, anyways. We're just going to start using all the other powers that we've been finding all over the place. Yeah, this is so we get to see if they are good or something. Okay, that, that fires three arrows. I think we've yeah, upgraded, upgraded that once. Ah. Yeah, if you upgrade that one, I could see that making more arrows or something. Wait. Voice changer? Wait, what? Voice changer? A mask devised by a playful inventor, it distorts the wearer's, the wearer's voice. Is that the Bane reference? <laughs> <laughs> She sounds like a kitten! <laughs> but since you, since you, oh, it's just a kitten lover! Or a kitten hover, I mean. Yeah, that totally sounds like she's saying Nya or something. Okay, fun little uh, thing, but. Wait, we have two of these? I said that earlier, you had two of them. Okay, I must have missed that then. Like, I miss with so many things. Yeah, I think I said that to you, or I was thinking to say it to you, but forgot to do it. Okay, so that's why this place is sealed off. I'm, I'm guessing... There must be some way to open that up. At the moment, we can't go underwater. We can't go through here. So unless there is a system hidden somewhere to open this up, or somewhere in these unexplored areas, we find a mini boss that allows us to swim. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how we're going to get in there. Yeah, there seems to be some blocks we're not falling through yet. 
or claim up yet that could uh, really hit the room. So we may have to be extra pro. So, like, if you find a room, we try to fully explore it as much as possible, just not being seen from us. Yeah. Basically, attack every wall and ceiling to see if it might go through somewhere. Well, I mean, I'm not excited, but I need to make sure it's massive and proper field up as possible. Because yeah. Because Mr. Rude that should be there on the map. Yeah. This story is also going to help with checking ceilings in these tall rooms. Hold on, I think something in the map there. Yeah, there's a, there's a, an area we haven't gone yet. Ghosty. <laughs> Nope, just a chest here. Oh, uh, I'm so hyped up today. Well, again, I'm mostly been resting in bed today, so I've had a little uneasy in my belly today a bit, but better now. But I'm not hyped up because of, of, of this game, and as I mentioned earlier, I saw some videos of the new trailer and new gameplay of the next to the wall Warhammer game. Yeah. And I got to see Wait. something in the... Okay, at least we found a save room in this area. What? Uh, wait, look at the map. There's a chest in our unexplored spot. Uh, no, I think that's you just a map. Mi that's the map falling behind a bit. It's like front shard. Is there a way to ah? There is a way to favorites. Okay. I should equip it then, of course. Nope. I was hoping that would break through. And the fish is no not interested in chasing after me. Let's see what is on other up there. Let's see. And the fish. Come on. Ornus. Yes. And it retreats back in there. There is something we're missing somewhere. Okay, I did oh wait. Can we get up here now? I think, yep, we can. Okay then. But can we continue on enough from here? No. Almost though. I think you can do it if you try hard enough. Yeah, I think that was the most distance we could get out of that. Uh, it's maybe like this. Oh, yep. Yeah. And you are... Out. Okay, a hundred gold. Not really worth it. Looks suspicious. Never mind. Okay, bullet capacity. Hmm. But that means that this is still a dead end for now. 
And there is nothing much new to find there. So yeah, th this area is... Yeah, un until we find a swimming power, the lower end is just of no use. Yeah. So we could probably talk, talk with Dominic and the others and see if they have some any new quest or some new info. Another message arrow has arrived from Zangetsu. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Who are you? In this chamber where the <laughs> bell tolls, seek the demon woman basking in blood. A female vampire, perhaps? I think we've killed her already. Hmm. Vampires drink blood. They don't bask in it. No, oh, one of them did. Wait, there's more. The room was an ocean of gore. From some grisly battle, perhaps. Okay, so maybe another vampire. And if I'm reading this right, the demon he spoke of was able to instantly collect this blood without laying hand or lips on it. That sounds like the bloodless again. Wow. That means even the slightest wound in her presence would put me in danger. She won't be easy to defeat. You had best go in prepared. Okay, so that was talking about what the bloodless. And we have quite a lot of <laughs> we have quite a lot of gold now. Is this right? Many thanks. Let's just make sure we never need to, or oh, we won't need to get those for another time. Because hmm? we have fail medicine. Yeah. That's good, but that, that can make the very useful. I guess we need some healing aid. We should probably buy a f well, let, let's just buy a few ingredients of everything heavy. since we have a bunch. Is this right? Can I help you with something else? Let's not do that. Solvate. Is this right? Then we have a deal. Is this many thanks? Everything that Is looks like an ingredient, we Is buy a many? few of. Is this right? Then we have a deal. Is this many? We have a deal. Is this right? many thanks? Is this many thanks? Is this many thanks? Is this thank you? Is this many thanks? Is this many thanks? Hmm? It's almost like you're, you're making a remix of Doom Is this when we have a deal? <laughs> no. Is this when we have a deal? Is this when we have a deal? Is this when we have a deal? Uh, no, sure. then we don't need that. <laughs> Let's see. Anything among main gods? A dagger useful for both defense, and offense, and defense. Foods, a storied blade that has cracked the skulls of myriad adversaries. Der Grush, a thunderous club once wielded by a storm god. Shed Der, a great sword imbued with the power of ice. Okay, these these are all quite pricey but, as well. That hmm? was meant for a skill, Rakiri. Uh, yeah, that was in one of the techniques that we found. Poisonous whip. Crown of Creation uses gold to reduce damage, with proper training allows one to, to secure a distant camp. Wait, that's a reference to that uh, Two Kingdoms game or something? And uh, oh, hello there in chat. Grimlock41, hide chat and still no Belmont whip in her hand. Well, <laughs> there are plenty of whips in this game, uh, but no vampire killer yet. Yeah, and yeah, that th here's the thing. In Kingdom 2 Crowds, the other Kingdom game, if you drop your crown, you have a shot to retrieve it. But if your enemy, as it is uh, called Green, picks it up and runs away with it to the portal, it's game over. Okay. I, I have heard of that game, I've seen a bit of it, but I'm not really sure if it'd be, be a, a game for me. Yeah. It, it's, it's a, it looks like a fun game to watch, but yeah, King of Two Crown is the one that they introduced multiplayer. And later in the expansion to it, with the Asian uh, 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 faction. Thank you. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. And, uh, it also added the bloodstained characters. Oh, uh, yeah. I, di I think I did saw something about a promo of a crossover on the store page of this. Oh, hello, miss. Oh, you're looking fit as ever. 
And you have been no use at all in this game so far. So what is the deal with you? Maybe just be a nice uh, person there to Are you eating compliment properly? you. So, what will it be? And maybe, okay. but... Hmm. Okay, we can make a lot now. Yeah, I will say this. I think Miriam eats properly. For she yeah. looks not malnourished at all. I'll go with this. Yeah. Great. And now we're not calling her fat. They're saying she looks healthy. With this. Okay, these are only small bonuses, but every little bit will count eventually. Did oh, 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 I, I thought this is what Grandma wants, but I thought this was pasta, but it's it's French fries. Potatoes fried in oil, which gets all over your hands. You won't care. Yeah, you. I'll go with this. Right, aren't you? You're supposed to be trying to more and more eat the fries with the fork. Right. It's not due to the fat, since I use an air fryer. It's I more to the. When I eat fries, my fries stick in my fingers. I notice right. that most of the spices I add on my fries ends up on my hand. <laughs> and okay. I want to spice it on my fry, not on my ham. Come back if the. Okay, yeah, we use an air fryer as well. Scratches. Yeah, and that air fryer I think is the same Scratches. model as mine. Oh yeah, <laughs> you saw it in a picture of Ink sleeping on the washing machine, I think. Scratches. Yeah, Scratches. and if, if it is the same model as mine, you're in for a treat, man. No? Oh. It's a good air fryer. Okay. But for some reason... My mother keeps calling it an active fryer. But it says it's an air fryer, but. Yeah, when it's sort of hard to call it an active fryer because air fryer is apparently copyrighted. Okay. But yeah, I will just call it air fryer, but it's easier to say. You're welcome. Shumaru. I think we're. <laughs> I think we're quite past where that one would be useful. Yeah, honestly, honestly it's a different one. Yeah, we, <laughs> we already had one. Oh, yeah. So it's not just a, one of those... Is just had a different yes, spell. Uh, yeah, yeah, now we can... 41 says, now you can buy fries oh. since, well, we've made it, so now we can I buy it in the from Dominique. Around. And now she wants some sort of soup. Wait, yeah. I think we've seen that before. See, it's not something we have. Is Does it I have something? What are you looking to buy? Not floor. Flour, I mean. Corn chowder. Okay. Is this right? Have a deal. Thank you. Come. Did you? That poet. Hi. You're welcome. Okay, an apron. I wonder if it's the price if apron is the damn one thing you can put on and it gets her appearance. Let's see. Steel breastplates. An apron imbued with the soul of a departed chef. Wait, is it fire resistant? Yeah. But other than that, it's very weak. Yeah. Uh, Grimlock again. I rather New England Cloud Charter. Not something I've heard of. Not, is there no, I haven't heard of that either, actually. Baked dish yeah, covered in white sauce, crispy bottom. Again, I have no idea what that is. White sauce crisp. No, it's not an omelette, no. I have no idea what it is. This time. Especially not with that description. I'll go what? with this. 
Now the chicken casserole, a macaroni gratin, with, for which we need white sauce and pasta. And uh, Grimlock, oh. Grimlock in the chat correcting to clam chowder. Okay, I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm I'm not big on seafood really. Yeah, I'm not keen to eat it myself. That's macaroni gratin. All right, that means I was not far off about macaroni. Let's see, flour and eggs. And more flour and beast milk. Beast milk is something we haven't unlocked at all, I think. Yeah, just to see what this does. This. It's what is Damascus and steel, for which we have both a decent amount. Wait, I think I think we've seen this one in uh, one of the techniques. Yep, and it's the only one. Wait, yeah, it's a unique weapon for that's a giant plum shark. Okay, a bunch of if different I, ammo types. Probably I read the description right. Let's see, nothing here that will boost our stats, except for this one. Beret of Bravery requires strange leather. And okay, that is, that is quite a big jump. Requires flame, flame rounds. Flame mail, and it looks like a flame breastplate, so uh, they need to learn what a male is. Majestic plate. Mm, that would be a general upgrade. But it require demon pelt and big sides. Demon pelt, well, it's probably from demons and art demons. Silk, we haven't found. Demon fang, no. Okay, th this one we might be able to get if we kill enough of the uh, banshees and dragons. Actually, we already have one of those. It's from here on that things would be an upgrade. Hmm. Wait. Fairy. Okay, that would be a small upgrade. But we'll have to go after fairies again for that. Can we upgrade the... Um... No, we need bovine plumes. We saw that last time we were here. So, basically we need to kill a lot of wind tools. Yeah. Um, I'll go with since we can. Even though she isn't really useful in combat. But she can be useful as an emergency healer. Yeah. Go with this. There, all done. So, does she heal? I'll go with this. Does she heal me automatically, or you need to tell her? Stop back. Uh, with what? You mean that? Uh, the fairy. Does she heal you? Heal you automatically, or you need to tell her to heal you? I'm presuming she would heal us if we stand still long enough. Because I I haven't seen anything to allow us to command it. The only time I've seen her heal with it is when you use it to hide the back. Then I saw her use it and you did tell her to do it. But I hope she will use it as well automatically, otherwise... Why even buy the healing potion if she don't use it automatically? Also, why is there a crown here now? Oh. Good question, and oh wait, I just realized. Yeah? She, by telling her to heal you, for the uh, inventory we will continue fighting, means she can 
heal you while you keep fighting. Perhaps. I, th I think she... Let's see... We have some of it. Okay, it does have, say, use. Okay, so I'm guessing it can only be used when we have the fairy active. Yeah. A question. Is there a that should make it automatic? So, yeah. uh, automatic. To be able to jump fight on without uh, issue. Yeah. Yeah, when, when that did happen, I think it was the second stream that we did of this, so it is a long-ass time ago. Yeah. Let's see, we can get up further here. She was still attacking. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Do we have something like a hammer? I thought the game might be a bit uh, cheeky with that, like you have to ring the bell. That's anti-poison. Maybe you can do that, but you need an excuse for it. Okay, there is something there, yeah. And Maybe the ceiling up here? No. There, there is a different area over here still that we haven't explored yet. Yep, and if you look down a little bit, there's an area with upper air we're not explored at all. Yeah. But this is that this is the entrance that goes all the way up, like an empty area here. We actually we can just go take a look over there. We're close, anyways. Yeah, and as well, might as well the case. Well, that looked like it could be a sneaky area where they hid a new room in that blank spot. Yeah, I still somewhat doubt that there is something there, or that we can reach at the moment. Yeah, I was it, a lot of it seemed to be open air. Yeah. At least on the way down. Yeah, he's probably not being there, but, you know, the game has pulled many surprises on us. So it is a bit of uh, not so underestimate uh, the game's surprises. Now, you again. Cursed ring? Hmm? What? 69, that number! A ring that embodies all the hatred in the world. Okay, minus 10 luck, 10 strength and intelligence, and resistances to a lot. Okay, this... What was the drop rate on that? Does this even say... <laughs> okay, th this doesn't say how your drop rates. But we do know that that thing is in here somewhere. No. No. There, 51. There, yeah. 
Let's see. Death Cry, Curse Drink 4%. And there's still something else. Hmm. Okay, that sounds like a really useful offensive weapon. Or offensive accessory. But I'm not entirely sure what the full effect would be of dropping our lock by 10. Yeah, that, that sounds a bit fishy to me. Ah, yeah, now I remember. Rabbits. Oh, we still don't have a way to cross those bad things, do we? Yep. Well, because we can drop through the air and see if there's something missing over there. Yeah, nothing there. And, and, and now we're right back where we started. Yeah. And we could do something in that area. Yeah, maybe it's only accessible through some sort of teleporter or something, or... or no, probably not here. Or... There is room for another passage over here, perhaps. And I see a, so the, there's a small off room. There's a whole room missing uh, on an area. And where? Oh, there's something missing here. Yeah, yeah that one. Uh, let's go to this room then, up there. And at this point I should probably just avoid fights and just run through as fast as possible. Hmm. Yeah, we have we have far too much defense for these to hurt us in anything <laughs> bad. Is there really yeah. nothing to show for what anything we can do Wait. over here? Blood steel. Oh, oh yeah. Steel. Okay. okay, good thing that you said that. So useful on this game, and I. I'm surprised how much right I own this game. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that was sneaky of the game. Or that the developers. Yeah, but and... that makes sense why they highlighted her as a bot for. Sure, it gave Bloodstain, but Bloodstain don't, didn't seem like a, a game mechanic that has to get further in game. Except the back. And now that we have that. We can finally progress again. Yeah, but I I can see how most people would not really think to use that there at first try. Yeah. Since, well, it shows up early on in the game. Yeah, but by no, then you, you yeah by then you probably just forget about it mostly. Yeah, and as well, when you think about it, so far can get the only thing we have got about. Mini bosses that keep your skills like the glove and jumping higher. So the blood would not make sense for it uh, like a when you only heal yourself from blood puddle. So that's not a progression spell per se. Yeah. As far as the land. Yep. Yeah. I'm glad I noticed that uh, for now, it makes sense why he did this. But it was a hidden progress that was progressed. You know yeah. what I mean? It took it a bit yes. too granted. Let's see. Wait, you're... Oh, now we're on the other side of this, finally. Still without a swim spell, but there's still plenty of area down there to explore, probably. Okay, and here we was thinking that the last... Oh. 
we're already at two hours. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll have to go find the save room, though. Actually, you can suspend the game, which saves where you are right then and there. For you to return next time, but... Just for safety's sake, and well, we've ended every stream in a save room so far. What are you? The Water Leaper. Okay, that does heal hurt us quite a bit. Let's see. Penetrate. Charge through enemies with your spear at the ready. Gondo Shi... Junuri? And Leng Yan Yu. So a Japanese spear and a Chinese spear, I think. Hello. And just what we're looking for. Okay. And then we head out and back in for the double save, just to be sure. All right then. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I had a feeling the next stream probably was going to be like having to scavenge all over the place to find out where the hell we were supposed to continue on, but that was clever t to um, to hide the progressions. Well, a skill that would lead us to progression or more exploration in a full boss instead of a mini boss like the previous ones. Some people would probably complain about that, but I still think it's pretty clever. Yeah, this one was not. Yeah, here's the thing. As I said, the first clue was how how they formulated about her how she drained blood from the ground and all. So, yeah, it sort of became putting one and two together. I think the games do something similar, but fail utterly, but they gave no hints at it at all. They gave us hints here. Yeah, may maybe that's why Dominique still spoke of the boss, even though we already defeated her. Yeah. Damn clever. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Sadly for... Uh, <laughs> the both of us and anyone interested enough in watching this uh, will have to call it again. And yeah, tomorrow something Sunday. Um, yeah. Wait, and, what? <clears throat> or well, no, no. I, I'm too. I'm too used. I'm too used to my Saturday being my free day. Uh, yeah, it's it's Thursday. And it yeah, national holiday. It's like. It's been a full month with one day free in each, and yeah, it, it starts to mess with your perception of time a bit because it, it completely felt like Saturday today. But, but yeah, not tomorrow, but on Sunday, something Sunday, I might as well announce it a bit early. I'll be streaming Hard uh, Space Shipbreaker, which has been the f which was the first game that I streamed on Twitch. Uh, before I started uploading them to YouTube. Uh, because I said back then that I would <coughs> I would return to the game whenever it would update. And I honestly I honestly thought that the game might have been abandoned since it had been like half a year since it updated. And lo and behold the day after I start thinking that big ass story updates. Yeah, as I said, expect the game to be abandoned if it has not been having updates for like a year or two? Yeah, I'd, I'd start talking... I'd, I'd fully start talking about something being abandoned after a full year. But, yeah. <laughs> have to both prove me wrong. Be which is kind of funny, because... Um, after... I, I'd said I'd, up, I'd stream a bit of it every time it would update. And right as I... In the same stream that I said, you know, the day after I said that in one of those unrecorded streams, uh, yeah, the day after that, it updated. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, that game has been toying with me a bit every now and then. But, yeah, not tomorrow, Sunday. But and on Saturday, more of this. Yep. But, for now, it's starting to get a bit late on this for all of us. So, let's go through anyone who may have been watching. If I ignore your name, then I... Yes, if... 
if you are watching this live and I'm not saying your name, that's because your name it doesn't show up here, or because I suspect you might be a bot. Uh, I'm talking about you, another TV viewer. But someone who has been here, and, uh, oh, they are, they stopped watching it seems. <laughs> but anyways, then Grimlock41, thank you for watching while you did. Um, hopefully, I'll, we'll see you some other time. If not, if not. But as always, until next time, and until then, until then. Be safe, folks. <laughs>